today on Judge Porter. I will have that bag put placed back over your head and you will be sent back to jail. Am I making myself clear, sir? Yes, Your Honor. You were accused of a crime and you don't know what the crime no, was? No, he never told me. He matched the description, sir. He matched no, the description. No, you said, look at him, he's black. Is it because he's a black man within sir, the Sir, are you going to take his word over mine? All rise. The Honorable Judge Porter presiding. Court is now in session. Hello, everyone. Please, please be seated. Jeff, sir, you can uh, you can bring him in now. This is court case number nine three three nine. Lashawn Redvine versus Gabriel Ortega. Uh, we have Mr. Redvine at the podium. Mr. Officer Ortega, can you please come to the podium as well, sir? Um, before we get started, I need to address this issue. Um, as many of you know, I am still a police officer with the Mango Park Police Department. And Officer Ortega here is, as you can see, an employee of an officer with the Mango Park Police Department as well. Um, at this time, I am not going to recuse myself from this case. I believe that I can still give a fair um, judgment in relation to this particular uh, case. Um, with that being said, Officer Ortega, you are the defendant. Mr. Redvine, you are the plaintiff. Officer Ortega, I'm going to start with this question. Is it necessary for him to have on this particular, I believe that's a, um, a spit bag? Yes, sir. Um, why? Sir, when I arrested this man, rightfully arrested this man, he spit on me several times, and I just do not want to deal with that again. Okay, I understand. Um, Mr. Redvine, you heard what Officer Ortega said. Now, um, Jeff, let me ask you a question. Did he present you with any problems prior to bringing him into the courtroom? Not at the moment, no. Okay, Mr. Redvine. I am going to ask my bailiff to remove the, the bag off of your head. Will you act in a reasonable manner in my courtroom, sir? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, understand, sir. Um, you are a still, you are an inmate of the Mango Park County Jail System, okay? If you do not act accordingly, I will have that bag put placed back over your head and you will be sent back to jail. Am I making myself clear, sir? Yes, Your Honor. Jeff, please take that bag off his head, please. You sure that's a good idea, sir? Sir, sir, I will get to you momently, you in a momentary. Me? I promise you don't have a problem in this courtroom, okay? All right. Now, um, we're gonna start with you, Mr. Redvine, since you are the plaintiff in this case. You are seeking punitive damages against Officer Ortega in the amount of $25,000 for pain and suffering, and also you're requesting that all charges against you be dropped. Am I reading that correctly? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, sir, do you mind telling us what happened? Sir, I, only thing I know is I'm in my own business, in my own world, doing me. This police officer comes up to me, asks me questions. I don't want to give him you no know, answers because I'm doing me. There's no reason for him to stop me. So I'm just thinking that it's, you know, racial. So I can just... I'm sorry, where'd you get stopped, sir? I was sitting on a park bench. Okay. And I was doing my meditation. And when he came up, he was bothering me. And when he, he startled me, actually. So when I opened my eyes, it was just him. I looked at him like he was crazy. Like, what are you doing? You see me sitting here paused. Like, what's the problem? All of a sudden... He starts asking me all these questions and I'm sitting here like, you know, what's going on here? Like, now I'm feeling like I'm threatened. So I'm like, I feel threatened. I ain't got to ask you none of your questions. Call a supervisor here. I guess that must have made him really mad because that's when he went off, went off the handle. 
said he said I did some kind of crime that I still don't even know what I did. Said he's had some kind of witness. So you, I'm sorry, sir. You said that you were accused of a crime and you don't know what the crime no, was? No, he never told me. I'm okay. here. I don't know what I'm here for. Okay. Um, so you're telling this court that you got arrested, but you don't know what your charges are? Is no, that I, I didn't get no paperwork. I didn't get nothing. I mean, that's not true, sir. Okay. Um, Officer Ortega, can you tell us uh, what happened? Yes, sir. Um, we got a call of suspicious activity. Mm -hmm. There was a kidnapping in the area okay. where this gentleman was, was uh, sitting, uh, was sitting at, at, the, at the bench at the park. And he matched the description of the criminal. Okay. There was a robbery and a kidnapping all within the same area. I see this man sitting there with his eyes closed. I don't know what he's doing. I got, we got a call from a lady in the park saying that there was suspicious activity. I picked him up, matched the description. He confessed to the whole thing. The kidnapping, so I don't understand where his story is I'm coming sorry, from. I'm sorry, Mr. Ortega. When you say that he what confessed, is he hold on, sir, sir. Remember what I said. Now, when you said that he confessed, did he confess there on the scene or was it a different location? There was a different location, but what, what was a different location back back at the precinct back, back at, that's where at, that's what he agreed to precinct? yes, sir. Yes, okay But he matched he matched the description. I'm just curious. Did you take him? Uh, what when you got to the to precinct did he make his claim then did you do take him to the interview room where this happened? At? Yeah, we did it. Yes, we did it in the interview. You did interview. Interview. Interview room. Was there yes, any sir. other officers present when you did this interview? No, sir. Okay, so it was just you and mr. Yes. Mr. Redvine. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, what else happened, sir? And while, while I was making the arrest at the park, this man spit on me. He berated me. He called me things that I should not say in this courtroom. Okay. And you, that's, I mean, that's unacceptable. Okay. You said something about, um, if, I, if I heard you correctly, you said something about a witness. Yes, we got a call from the suspicious woman at the park. I spoke to her. She pointed to this man, Mr. Redvine, and I did my job as a police officer, and I made I the arrest. I understand that. Let me ask you a question, sir. How did you get to the correlation of a man sitting on a park bench with his eyes closed, being suspicious, to that's my guy with the robbery and kidnapping? And I understand what you're yes. saying, that he fit the description. Mm -hmm. But besides fitting the description, mm -hmm. How did you get to the part where this is my suspect for the robbery and the kidnapping? He, he confessed. He confessed. He, didn't, he's, he claimed that he didn't know what he was doing. But, sir, I mean, just look at him. He matched the description. Okay. Uh, what else do I have to do? That's I, I, my job I, I, as a police officer. I, 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 don't have, I, don't, I don't have the call that gives out the, uh, the description of that particular day, so I don't know if he matched the description or not, yes. nor do I have a picture of what he looked like on that particular day. Um, I have a video that shows what he Sir, looked like. He, he, is a, he is a black male in a predominantly white neighborhood being very suspicious on a park bench with his eyes closed. Sir, Mango Park is predominantly white. Are you trying to say that all black people within the no, city sir. limits no. of Mango Park are suspicious? Are you trying to say that me, Judge James Porter, who also resides in Mango Park, that I would look suspicious? Because I don't wear this black robe when I go from, my park, from the parking lot into this building. No, so sir. So would you say that I would be suspicious? No, would no you sir. say that Jeff here Looks suspicious. Okay, Jeff also resides here within Mango he, Park, sir. He he is one of he's 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 my he's my brother. He's my brother too. We we, we work in the same in the same building. <sighs> sir, what I'm saying is, he matched the description. He had clothes with holes in them. I don't know. I, I just I don't know any people in the neighborhood that look like that. Okay, and he confessed to the robbery and the kidnapping. Yes. Now, you said that this took place in the interview room? Yes, sir. Are you aware of the fact that the interview room has cameras in it at all times? Uh, yes, sir. Are you aware of the fact yes. that once you enter that room, the cameras come on automatically? Yes, sir. Are you aware of the fact that the cameras in that room record everything that goes on when people are inside? Of course, sir. Are you aware that I have a monitor right here? Yes, sir. Are you aware of the fact that that monitor, once I tell Jeff to push the button, is going to show what's going on in that interview room because the courts requested it. Sir, I don't think we need to, to watch those videos. And your story had better match up with what we see on this monitor. Jeff, please. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. He looks very, um, very respectful, almost quiet, mouth-like. Sir, that he, he put on a show for the cameras. When I was at the park with him- I don't see him, much of a show. As a matter of fact, the only person that's talking is you. Sir, when I was at the park arresting him, he was disrespectful to me. He spit on me. He's was, asking, is, is, is he asking you what? He knew there was cameras in there. He's putting on a He's putting on a show. Okay, you got one more time. Yes, sir. I understand that you're emotional. Yes, sir. But that type of language is not, not in this courtroom. Yes, sir. I apologize, sir. I don't see the part where he's confessing. Am I missing that? I don't see that. Jeff, do you see that? <laughs> not at all. He's not confessing to anything, but you said that he confessed. Yes, sir. He must, I mean, there's something must be wrong with the Jeff, audio, you sir. you turn it off. I, I don't see the part where he confessed because maybe you guys cut off the video. I don't know what happened, sir. But he sir, confessed in that room. did you not see the video like us, the rest of us? I, I don't think we watched the whole video, sir. Did you not say that he confessed to the robbery and kidnapping? He did, sir. He didn't confess it there? I, I don't, I, I think the audio must have cut off or the video must have cut off because he did, he did confess to me in that He in that confessed room. to you? Yes, sir. Okay, and I'm looking in a police report here. It does say that he made a full confession inside of the in interrogation room. Yes, sir. But I don't see that. I don't see him being aggressive towards you. I don't see any of these things that you say. As a matter of sir, fact- Sir, technology can be faulty. You don't have a witness. You said you had a witness. There's no witness. The witness is not here. You didn't present a witness. There's nothing here and now I'm wondering why this young man was arrested and is it because he's a black man within so the So are you going to take his word over mine? Officer Ortega, this is not the street. You're not getting written up, okay? In this courtroom, you will be held in contempt of court and you can go to jail just like him. Now, say another word. Now, this isn't a matter of me taking his side of what he looks like. This is not me taking his side because he's black. I'm concerned about what you said. You stopped him because he's black. That was the first thing that you said. Am I wrong in saying that? He matched the description, sir. He matched no, the description. No, you said, look at him, he's black. That seems to be the only reason why you stopped Mr. Redvine. He's sitting on a park bench as a black man, minding his own business. And you said that you, he matches the description. I don't have a description nowhere in the police documentations here. I don't have a witness here. What I do have is a video of you harassing him. And what I don't have is him attacking you or him making a confession. Sir, I was trying to keep the streets safe. This man was <laughs> being suspicious a in a Let park. Let me ask you a question. You've already lied in this court once. I have not, sir. You, that was not you on the video that, was, that we that just was, saw? That was not me, sir. <laughs> Are you sticking by that? Yes, sir. That was not you? That was not me, sir. Mm. I'm going to make a formal inquiry to Internal Affairs. Sure. And I'm going to let them deal with that part, since you want to lie in my courtroom. I'm not, I'm not lying, sir. I, and I'm also believing that this young man did not make a confession. Sir, forget it. Did you confess to him about that? No, about, sir. I don't even know what I was arrested for. He thought he was under the impression of rape and robbery. Was sir, there a rape involved also? Criminal. Criminals will lie. Criminals will lie. Yes. You arrested him for looking suspicious. You impounded something that was not even evidence of something that was stolen. And matching the description. Matching the description is not enough for an arrest. Officer Ortega, you should know better than that. Yes, matching the description gives you the right to talk to somebody and interview them. And that's it. You didn't make a correlation between whether he did it or not. You arrested this man because he looked suspicious. We don't arrest people because they look suspicious. We arrest people because we have evidence to prove that they committed a crime. And you lied and said that you didn't take him to a station to an interview room, which makes me believe that you lied about everything else that happened prior to that.
that's not true, sir. That was not me on that video. I made my decision. Mr. Redvine. Yes, Your Honor. This court finds that the damages that you suffered and the pain, the $25,000, yes, Officer Ortega will be paying you that out of his paycheck. The city will not be paying for that. <laughs> He's going to be held responsible for that. <laughs> Jeff, I want you to take Officer Ortega into custody for contempt of court for lying in this courtroom. Oh, sir, sir, I've... You've known me Be for over- Be quiet, Officer Ortega. I highly no, recommend that you remain Jeff, quiet until you on, speak man. to your attorney. Am I making myself clear? Am I making myself clear, sir? Yes, sir. Get this man out of my courtroom. <sighs> Mr. Redvine, sir. Yes, Your Honor. On behalf of the Mango Park District Court, as the citizens of Mango Park, I want to issue a formal apology. What happened to you was a disgrace, and it will be dealt with. I can assure you of that. That is not who we are as a community. That is not who we are as a court system. That is not who we are as a police department. Again, I do apologize. Court Thank is adjourned. You,